Hello. Okay. It's a new look for me, I know. We've got a whole different thing going on. I'm just trying it out. Let's see if it works. So, <laughs> this vlog is for days 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. And I did all my busy car driving, got all of that sorted. And now I thought I would do five days of what did I eat in a day? Mm -mm -mm -mm. My fat, my fat's on the up and up. So that's pretty cool. And let's get to it. So Wednesday was day 101. I'm so proud of myself. A hundred days. Yep. Um, okay, so I did a lot of making tallow. I've got my notebook here. Everything's in reverse. So I'm feeling a little bit disorientated. Let me let me move that. Um, I don't know if I can hold it here. Yeah, normally, I don't know. Let me just come to terms with this. All right. I've got the wrong glasses on. It's all happening for me right now. All right, so on Wednesday, what did I have? I had chicken wings. Chicken wings for bre chicken wings for breakfast. It's the son's birthday tomorrow, so the husband is cooking him a birthday curry. So they're out there, I can smell it all through the house. Smells delicious. I myself had a house steak or New York strip, same thing, for dinner, with some fat crackle, and it was delicious. All right, <clears throat> chicken wings. I tried raw suet, so I had a tiny little square like that. Nom 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 nom. And I've frozen some little baggies, which I'll show you. Um, I think I showed you in the last vlog, anyway. I really enjoyed it, but I've tried one since frozen and I think I prefer it more at room temperature. And it does leave a creamy mouthfeel at the end, which is unexpected, but delicious. Um, skirt and picanha. Guess what? I learned that that thick skirt is hanger steak. Also called the butcher's steak, like it's a secret butchers cut that they love and I've been sous it for 20 hours so now I'm wondering mm, next time I might just smoke it or and then reverse sear it like I do with the chuck eye steaks <clears throat> anyway I'm gonna think it through um, but I had skirt and picanha so that thick skirt is really hanger steak hanger steak and picanha Fat crackle and chicken wings. Let me just check. Do I have anything else? No. Um, 125 grams of fat. So it sounds like a delicious day. It was a few days ago now. So then on day 102, I, I made a note. It was a hungry day today. So I've got, I'm doing this in the evening. Thought I would get it done. Everything's working in that direction. Had a busy day. Um, I'm creating a course. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment in my life. I'm creating a course. I've had a big, um, big day of doing recording videos and doing all sorts of stuff. So I'm on a roll right now. So I thought, let's get this vlog done. All good. So on Thursday morning, I had... One sausage and some smoked bacon. I'm enjoying this smoked bacon I found in the freezer. I'm enjoying it. Then I had a bit of smoky bacon and porterhouse and picanha, which is rump cap. Right. Uh, then I had some, I had so many things to eat this day. I don't even know how I'm going to fit them all in on the, on the video. Then I had some fat crackle and hanger steak or thick skirt in Australia. That's what we call it. 
Okay, I'm making some lunch. I'm going to show you. Oh, wrong lid. This is how I keep the fat crackle. This is it. After making a heap of tallow, I've just cut into it. And you can see that's from the suet tallow that I cooked. I'm just having a hungry day, so I think I'm going to make all of both of those. I'm going to put it in the air fryer, it's heating up now. I'm going to your sausage, and I'm going to put some picanha in with the um, fat crackle. Then I had pork sausage, just one. <laughs> Then I had some crab meat in my fridge, uh, in a little, um, comes from the fridge section in Woolies or Coles. Um, and I added some mayo to it. That was delicious. Love crab meat. Love prawns. Love fish. I know I haven't been eating it much. I have got prawns in the freezer. And I've got squid. I've got a piece of salmon. And I've got some white fish. Fatty fish is better, but... I'm, I've got that, I do, I love whitefish, so I've got that to also eat. And then the last thing of the day on Thursday, I had some smoky bacon and a New York strip. I like it, sounds better than a porterhouse, but I know that's what we call it here in Australia. So that was a delicious day. Oh, and do you know how much fat I had? 165 grams. Yes. I could tell I'm starting to learn when I need more fat. It's awesome to know those triggers, right? 103, day 103. Um, I had a cup of tea and two fried eggs in the morning. Sorry, I keep pointing. This is because I'm using my remarkable. Um, then fat crackle and New York strip. I'm calling it a mixed grill. When I'm doing these things, they're like mixed grills. I've Because I prep food and keep them in my drawer. And then I'll just grab whatever I feel like eating out. It's really cool, actually. And I do, because I cook in the Ninja air fryer a lot, saves a lot of cleanup. Cleaning up is a whole thing. <laughs> Especially the degreasing of the kitchen, mm, which I put a post up in Facebook and on my YouTube to just get some ideas of what everyone else is using because I've got a few things that I use. But wow. Got some great ideas. But anyway, let's stay focused. I had a mixed grill, fat crackle, New York strip, pork sausage. So a nice little mixture of those. And then for dinner, I had some flank and ribs and a New York strip. Wow, I must have been hungry. I don't remember that, but I'm sure I've got a video. So it was 130 grams of fat that day. Nice. Um, then on Saturday, day 104, wow, five, it's day 106 today, um, Saturday, had a fatty tea in the morning, then I had steak, eggs and smoky bacon. Yeah, cut up my steak strips, got two little eggs. Salt and pepper. And cooking bacon. Woohoo! Going in the ninja. And I cooked my eggs. I bought these little round silicon molds. I got a big one, round one, and a smaller one. But was I specifically bought them to do eggs in the ninja so that I could do all of my <laughs> breakfast in one hit when I feel like some eggs. I tried doing them, just cracking them into the base of the Ninja Foodie grill, and I didn't love that. So that's why I bought these El Cheapo Silicon. I'll put the link down below. Um, and I'll put, just so you know, with my links, I will put Australian and the US because I have links for both. And look, it's lovely if you want to support me, and it's fine if you don't. You can just work it out and Google it, I suppose. Or find out what it's called and just Google it. Um, but um, it worked a treat. I did it too long. 
it wasn't overcooked, but the yolks were firm. And I don't mind them. I don't mind them somewhere between runny and, and firm. So I, I actually enjoyed it. The whites were not overcooked at all. And that was five minutes. So I'm going to do three minutes next time and see what I get. But wow, it's so easy. Clean up is so easy. You just crack two eggs into this round thing. And I could make a bit of a quiche. Like with, ooh, just thinking right now, smoky bacon. Because I've still got some left. It's streaky bacon. And so it's actually really beautiful. And it's really thin. Very nice. When I bought it, I tried it and I didn't like it. It was way too smoky for me. And so that's why I put it in the freezer. But anyway, I found it now. So that's all good. Uh, excuse me. Then I made some ice cream. Fat bomb, frozen fat bomb. And it was great. I made it without sweetener to start with, right? So this is my plan. I'm just going to make it without sweetener. It's all going to be good. I used a combination of fats. It's basically frozen fat. That's what it is. And yes, it's not all. It's not a 100% carnival recipe. I would call it keto. I'm not sure if we call it keto vor, but it's um, so I used ghee because I can tolerate ghee. No problem. I used 100 grams of ghee. Oh, I'm getting the thumbs up. I don't know if it recorded, but I'm getting the thumbs up. Um, I used 100 grams of coconut oil and I use Loving Earth brand because it's the best. I've made many things. <laughs> I used to make raw desserts in the cafe that I ran. So I have checked out every possible brand of coconut oil. So this is the best one. Um, I used... I. I, this recipe I've made with MCT oil, but I didn't use any this time. I used egg yolks and there was one other thing. Anyway, I'll put the recipe up. It just won't be in the carnival recipe playlist. I'll put it in the keto recipe playlist. Um, but, and then I made it and I thought I won't, um, I won't add sweetener. I'll just go with it from there. Mm, no, not really. I added uh, some flavourings. There was a coffee essence, a honeycomb essence and a vanilla essence that I added because I thought that would give me an... Oh, the other fat was tallow. I added my Wagyu tallow to it, the one that's soft like cream. I thought to myself, what better use for it than putting it in ice cream? And it's great. Like, you wouldn't know. I'm not sure... If I increase the ratio, what it would be like. And I'm certainly going to play around with it because that's how I roll. But I'm very happy with it. And my husband said to me, did you make ice cream? And I went, mm-hmm. And he said, can I have some? And I went, mm-hmm. And he loved it. He said to me, babe, that was delicious. So that's a good sign. So, yes, I'll I, – oops, sorry. I'm rubbing my hand and moving all the camera. I will put up some – foot. I will probably have already put up some footage. Then I had pork sausage and then I had some more flank and ribs. I love those flank and ribs. I was, I'm experimenting. I've looked up several different methods, times and temps for cooking. And so um, I've done two different. I've done hot and fast in the Ninja air fryer. And now I've done steak and butter gals um, version 45 minutes on. She does 350. I did 170 Celsius. She does 350 Fahrenheit. Um, and they were nice. They were good. Were they better than mine? I did literally, get ready for it, two minutes on each side. So four minutes in the Ninja Air Fryer versus 45 minutes in the oven. So, but there's another one that does a much higher temp for 15 minutes. So that's the next one I'm going to try. And then I'll make my decision as to how I want to eat these flank and ribs. But that was 145 grams of fat on Saturday. And then yesterday was day 105. And I had, I got that pack of mints, which if you've watched my meat haul, I said I was going to give this mince a try from the beef shed. I've looked at it. I've seen it there so many times and it's... um. It's almost grey and I've I've just gone, mm, I'm so fussy with mints. Let me just have a drink of water because I'm feeling quite dehydrated. This is my, um, oh, my, um, this is so good, this cup. Like, see that ice? 
Whoa, can you see the ice in there? I put this ice in there hours and hours ago. It's still there and the water's nearly gone. Um, so I had frozen it. Anyway, I pulled it out, the mints to cook. You know, without all the fat, extra fat, it would have been okay. But I've realized what I don't like about these minces that I keep trying is they're too fatty because I keep buying fatty mints because everyone says you've got to get 80, 20 mints. Makes me feel sick, nauseous. So the one I found at Farmer Jack's recently that I was so surprised that I loved because I don't know likes Harvey beef and I think it's 90, 10. It doesn't say on it what it is, but it doesn't look very fatty. Anyway, this one looked very similar to it in terms of fat. So I think this one might have been 90 10 and I liked this one. And then I made this one. This would have been 70 30. Mm. I felt sick afterwards. I did. I was just like, okay, let's just pull off all the fat and let's get our fat another way. <laughs> Not that way. Um, so I have eaten it though. I've, I've eaten it over a couple of days. I've finished it off today. Um, but just got rid of the extra fat as much as I could. I had a little bit of it cold and actually it was okay <laughs> eating cold fat with the mince. It was actually all right. So anyway, I made, I cooked that up um, on day 105. The mince and the smoky bacon, it was delicious. Um, but towards the end of it, I was like, no more. Mm -mm. Tea and cream. Then I made the ice cream in the afternoon and no joke these little tiny tubs well, I don't have one here because they're in the freezer um I think they're 120 grams and I had about a third which is um 40 grams when I made it that was on Saturday did I make it on Saturday yes that was on Saturday. So what I had left was about 80 grams. So I had that on day 105, Sunday. I felt queasy at the end of it. I did not, didn't upset my tummy or anything like that, but it was just too much fat in one sitting, 80 grams, I think. Yep. And then I had more mints and the smoky bacon and some eggs for dinner. Um, and... That was 150 grams of fat, which I'm very happy about. Very happy to be eating um, more fat. Oh, you know what I was going to do? I was going to show you. I was going to show you my ice cream. Hang on. Um, I made a massive tallow cake. Let me show you the tallow cake. Look, I might as well just. Oh, I probably would have just. Oops. See that? It was massive. Like I cooked a lot. But I just wanted to, I wanted to actually show you all the, where are they? Show you, look at, can you see, whoops, can you see all the ice cream, the little ice cream containers? They're so cute. Um, and I was, not that one. I don't know if you can really see it, but the ice cream. Is delicious it really is delicious I will do a little recipe but um, I'll put it in the keto in the keto playlist um, for those of us strict carnivores they they wouldn't like the um, sweetener um, excuse me I use some drops monk fruit liquid vanilla 10 drops I used so anyway um, that is what I've eaten for five days. I'm going really well. How are you going? You going good? Um, I'm excited because I'm getting my course done. I've been, I've been doing a lot of work and it hasn't been that and I need to get it done. It's a course to teach how to make templates. Um, so it feels good. It feels good when you set goals for yourself and you are making progress, even if they're baby steps, you know. So, yeah, well, I hope you're doing well. Say hi down below. Let me know how you're going. Oh, the degreasing situation. So many good. I need to make a list of all the ideas 
and I might do a little video about that. I also want to do a video about how to get started on high fat. Is there any other little videos you think I should make that would be useful? Let me know. Let me know. But anyway, it's uh, nearly 8 o'clock at night on a Monday night. I'm going to go and wish my son early happy birthday for tomorrow. Um, I'm going to do a few more things for work. And I'm, then I'm going to watch the darts because the darts is on. Love the darts. Stand up. If you love the darts, stand up. <laughs> My kids, right now, they'd be like, Mom. <laughs> Formula One on the weekend. You know, last weekend was Miami. Wow. The sprint race and the Formula One race. Amazing. Yeah. Something to watch. It's been pretty boring for the last couple of years, even though I watch it still, um, because the Red Bull is quite dominant. Um I'm a Ferrari girl. That's my team. And they've been good. But, um, you know, when the same person wins all the time, it's like, come on, we need some competition in there. Anyway. All non-carnival stuff. But life, life stuff anyway, right? All right, I'm going to go. Sending you love. Mwah. Look after yourself. A little bit of self-love goes a long way. And if you've got any degreasing tips... Or any sort of um, content ideas for me, hit me up down below. Thanks. Oh, yeah. This is what it does. I love it. It's awesome. I'm a fireworks girl. Bye.